morning guys, Mark Stowe here, Stowe's Window Cleaning, and I want to talk to you about tool belts. They can be extremely useful, and they can be extremely annoying, uh, typically during the winter times. In the summer, tool belts are great, I think, we've just got a t-shirt and shorts on, so I'd wear something like, um, like this, the Ungo Ergotec, very comfortable belt. It has its plus and its minuses, the fact that you can put pouches in certain places because you've got these uh, sort of buckles that stop it from sliding the way around but in the same time that can be annoying because you're restricted to where you can you can put things you can't slide unless you get the huge pouch that comes with it you can't slide it actually over the top so you're restricted what you can put on that i have been using recently um well up until this winter this i don't know why i'm putting it on aldi tool belt which is only about 10 and you get you get two of these pouches you get this multi-tool holder which would be like for a, a hammer or something but it's ideal for detailing cloths slide that in it's quite useful a tiny little pouch there for your seal cloth and i tend to always have a bottle of solution and i have the same setup on this so you know i have the seal cloth in there for example bottle of solution in there maybe and the tool belt I would use both belts was this so it's younger bucket on, bucket on a belt but it's um, it's not a quick release one where you can leave the, the sort of buckle the um, loop behind and take it away so I tend to put it on the belt and then leave it on the belt but now the winter's here well it's been here for a while actually <laughs> I just got cold all of a sudden. I find belts really, really annoying when you're layered up. So when you've got like a couple of t-shirts or a vest, a shirt, a jumper, maybe even a coat, trying to put a body, uh, body even a body warmer, yeah. Trying to put a, a belt on as well, just feels a little bit restrictive. And if you're trying to sort of bend in any way, I tend to find that the belt lifts, your, well, because you're moving, the belt goes up and then it pulls like your shirt out, your trousers or something. And it's so annoying to have that draft come up your back, especially when it's cold out, I'm trying to keep warm. So during the winter, in winter trim, like I am now, so I've got like combat trousers on that can take a belt, I'd have like a normal belt on. And then I'd have my ball ring on there. And then I've got that clip, which is for the Tory back on the belt. That just goes on there. I'm good to go, ish. I've got no seal cloths at this precise moment. Now I did take off, oh, so I just spill water everywhere. I did take off one of the, the pouches on the Ergotech belt and put it here. Then I just found I was starting to get a little bit too, too heavy. Even though it's just one little extra pouch and a, and a wet cloth, the more you was doing that, just felt it starting to sort of try and pull your trousers down. So that goes in there, boom. That's on there, boom. And I did some filming with the Window Cleaning Magazine a couple of weeks ago. And I had to wear this as part of the filming. And it was perfect. Because it's, it's small, I mean it's really small. In terms of a belt, it's almost the width of my finger. It's really, really light. It's adjusted to my waist size. And I just found when I whacked it on, while I was doing the filming, this isn't the one, I had to go and buy my own one. It just sat either side of my ball ring, perfect. And then, I mean, it's so light, I don't even know it's on there. And because you don't need to have it to take weight, because it's just like a cloth, maybe a couple, I mean, you don't actually need both pouches, but you know, they're available. Perhaps you want to have the one for the dry cloths and one for the wet cloths. That's not a bad idea, I'm glad I thought of that. Um, you don't need it to support weight for like, your, your tools. It doesn't need to be tight, so you can just sort of like sit on your hips without worrying about pulling your clothes down. So I'm looking forward to using that today. But what I also do, because I found having a tool belt on my trouser belt can sometimes have the same effect as having the tool belt around, uh, around your waist, that the weight of the tools will pull your trousers down. So I actually wear braces. They're like hunter braces. They are pretty decent. 
So the braces keep the trousers exactly where I want them. And then keeps my clothes <laughs> all intact and tucked in so I keep nice and warm. I've got the basic tools available to me on my actual clothes belt. And then all I've got to do, this super lightweight belt, that just goes on. It's not tight. There's probably, well look, my hand's in there. It's not tight at all, but it's enough to support the weight of half a dozen cloths. So there you have it. That's my vlog on belts. I'm sure some other people have got their other variations, but hey, that's what we do. Have a great day. I'll speak to you soon. Hi guys, me again. Now, I'm just thinking, did I, when I did that video, did I actually mention what this belt was? It's an Atori belt. I know this is the wrong way. I don't know if this is the wrong way around or if it turns it around while it's filming, I can't remember. It's an Atori belt. It's just basically two pouches and a little belt. Perfect for what I need. Take care. Thanks for watching.